All right, Matt, what's going on? Matt and Mike here, Skagit Valley College Marine Tech, and uh, we wanted to do a little side trip today to show off this beautiful relic of an engine. Uh, this is our, our showpiece we have in our lobby here at the school. Um, Mike will give you some on the backstory, but this is, a, this is an old Gardner uh, LW diesel. This is kind of their mid-sized diesel engine. Um, they put these things in all kinds of different you know, commercial fishing boats and things back in the 30s and 40s, I believe, and yeah. you know, pre-World War II or World War II era. Um, and we just think this is the, you know, the coolest engine. So um, we had a, a couple students work to get her up into running condition um, and uh, kind of adapt it and plumb it with some new fuel tank and exchanger and things like that just to see if she still has it in her. And lo and behold, she sure does. Um, and, and I just, I just, we love this engine because, I mean, look at it, right? And it's got all of, lots of its plumbing external to the engine. Look at the injection pump on this, this beast, right? Um, so, so we just, we just really like it. And every year we like to fire it up, you know, and, and hear her chug along for a while. Um, couple yeah. things that we kind of had to do to make it run. We don't have the original, uh, water circulation pump on it. So we put, uh, just an auxiliary one that we control with a little switch right here. Um, oh, sorry, no, just switch. Yep, nah, there it goes. There it goes. Um, and then uh, the other, we also put, um, uh, this, this is a master lube. Uh, basically, it's an oil kind of pre-primer. Um, and what it does is when you last ran the engine, it pressurizes a little, a little air bag in here um, and then locks in pressurized oil. And that's what this is showing. We have some 40 PSI oil in here. So before we start the old girl, because she's been sleeping a while, we're going to, allow some of that pressurized oil to go flow through the gallery so she's good and lubed up before we fire it up. It's like yeah. getting an old man out of bed on a cold day, right? We don't, exactly. don't want to move too quick here. Yeah, and that's, you know, because this is on loan. So Sam Devlin actually owns this engine. He rescued it from an old boat that was going to get crushed. Um, if you don't know Sam, check out his stuff. I'll put a link in there, Devlin. He's, he does boat design work. He's a boat builder. Oh, some of the coolest boats. Very, I love very his cool. stuff. And so he's looking, he'll commission this for you if you want, build a boat around it. And this would just be a, so hats off. Thanks to Sam. Absolutely. Next time he's in town, he always likes to hear it run. And so we, we drag it out. It's kind of heavy. It's really it heavy. <laughs> it's really heavy. But uh, anyways, I think uh, our viewers, maybe you think we should fire it off. And yeah, yeah, we'll show you, we'll show you how this whole thing works here. Because I'm pretty sure our audio is going to go, you know, it's but. yep. Yep. So let's see. So this is my water circulation pump and then I'm just going to pre prime and we'll see the oil yeah. pressure drop. Yeah. Turn it on. It'll drop a little bit and we'll get a little, uh, should be a little push down. There it goes. There it goes. There we go. It's going down. And so oh, yeah, little got oil pressure here. So go ahead and fire in the hole. Oh yeah. This, that's hey, you got bottle right here. We're going to build a little oil pressure here. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not bad. 40. Sounds good for an antique. It's, it's real nice. Beauty. One smooth it's on it's a rickety right. stand but yeah, these it, are you know i could just see myself motoring for eight ten hundred hours to alaska just it, listen to this non-stop just let it chug becomes the whole the soundtrack for the entire trip and these things are really known for just running forever right they are so we had the story uh when i was teaching some high school students uh the grandsons and um alan out there in skyline who helped develop that marina he bought a fish boat North Sea, they were crushing these, cutting these boats up, and he promised the, the Scottish government or this little town where his father was born that he just wanted the boat, they could keep the fish permit, and so he got one. And it had the bigger engine in it. It's got the eight cylinder, um, the LXB. Right. And it's Radiant Star is still a, in the Northwest. Everybody's seen it. It's beautiful boat. Just Runs beautiful, yeah. fixed up. We got to yeah. put a picture in of it for yeah, sure. Yeah, we will. So he fixed up this trawler, but we bought it. He had already sailed around the world on right. a Maple Leaf 54, and he ended up, and that's when he wanted to visit is the town his father was born in and found out this cry and shame they were cutting up these fish In boats. Scotland, North Scotland. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, up in the North Sea. So he buys this boat and hires a diesel mechanic, a gardener guy, and says, I need you to check out the engine. And the gardener guy says, well, what, what for? You know, and He says, well, I'm going to Anacortes. 
want to make sure it'll make it. And uh, the mechanic says, oh, it will. <laughs> Alan's like, wait a second, calling your bluff. You don't even know where Anacortes, Washington is. And he goes, oh, I know. But he goes, and how big this planet is. Yeah. And I know what these will do. And this thing will push this boat anywhere on the planet. And so <laughs> Don't need to know exactly yeah, where it is. Yeah, so that engine, what they had done, that fish boat, is they would fire it up on Monday mornings, head to the North Sea, you know, when whatever fishing it was with the crew, fish for a week, motor back home. Engine I'm, running the whole time. Oh, yeah, never shut it off. Never shut it off. Never yep. shut it off. And uh, Saturday, they'd get back port, unload all the fish, everybody go get drunk. Sunday was Sabbath, you went to church, got your clean clothes, yeah. you got back in the boat and they'd start it Monday. So it ran for years and years, decades. Five days continuous. Every five, week. Every week, fishing. And uh, they tore the motor down just because Alan insisted, the mechanic checked it out. Yeah, it did a couple, but it was still in top running condition. And because he'd already been through the Panama Canal, he went all the way down around Cape Horn. Madman. All the way up here. Yep. Yeah, and the old gardener in that boat never missed a beat. And kept on cruising. So Super cool. Super no, cool. we just, yeah, what, a, what an awesome engine. Awesome um, engine. So. That's, we thought we'd share with you. Hope you enjoyed when it. When you come by Marine Tech to visit, it'll be sitting in the lobby. Come check it out. Yep, but if you're here in the spring, like now, if you arrange it, we'll fire it up for you and you can, you can hear it first. A absolutely. Right on. We'll see you guys next time.